When I first met you, I honestly had no idea you were going to end up being this important to me. It's been so hard to record this video. Because the past days, I have no motivation to do nothing. But hopefully I can do it today and get through everything. So I have a list that I have questions I wrote down that I got to ask. So hopefully I get through all of them. Uh, a lot of people ask how did your parents react. I texted them about that I was pregnant and stuff. So I'll put the screenshots in so you guys can see what they said to me. Someone asked if I am planning to move to Mexico. The answer is no. But I don't know. It's complicated because right now he's planning to see if he can come here. And if that's not possible, then I might have to take the decision to move over there. Someone asked, how did a relationship start? But it's kind of weird, because we, he, someone passed my phone number to him. I, at first, I had no idea who he was. With the time, we started, like, texting and talking. I started falling in love with all his fucking sweet words, me being a dumb bitch. And then I met, I literally fell in love with him. Before getting to know him in person, before I heard his voice, before I saw pictures of him. It all because of his sweet fucking words that he would say to me. He literally motivated me to do so much. But then by the time I found out he was my cousin and he knew, but he didn't know how to. He knew that we were cousins, but... He expected me to know somehow. Well, yeah, but at the same time, I did not see pictures of him. No one in the family ever talked about him or mentioned him. And I still didn't know him in person, so that's why. And, like, I've never had gone to Mexico, so I knew nothing about him. I knew nothing about any other cousins. So that's why what happened But was the time things happened. And yeah, there was times where, there was like two times before I met him in person that we tried to stop talking and get over the feelings we had, but it was hard. And we just decided not to give a fuck what the family was going to say. And that's what happened, but when I met him in person, it looked like everyone already knew that me and him had something. And they did not give a fuck. They literally just ignored it. Someone asks if he's really my cousin. He is my first cousin. His mom and my mom are sisters, but they don't get along at all. Someone asks, how did he react? Um, he was really happy. He was excited. Well, he is very excited. And I don't know, he started like planning so much stuff and I expected him to like be so negative about everything but no he was so positive about everything so that's why i was not scared at all about anything but yeah <laughs> where, someone asked how where did where did i meet him online on whatsapp Someone passed my number to him. Someone asked if I go and visit him. Yes. I went for the first time in June of last year. And then I went again in August, also of last year. And then I went in November of last year, obviously. And I'm going again in February. Someone asked if he works. He does work. And 
I used to work, but I can right now. And I'm stressing out because of that because I hate staying home and not doing anything. And obviously, I'm not going to be fucking getting paid. So I'm stressing about that. And a lot of people ask when is the due date. It's in August. A lot of people ask how did my parents react knowing that I was dating my cousin, my first cousin. My dad really never has anything to say. Well, he can't say much to me because my mom and him are not together. And yeah, me and him don't have a good relationship. But anyways, my mom didn't believe it at first. But then when she saw that me and him had pictures together and stuff like that, she started believing it. She said it was wrong, but then she got over it. But yeah. Someone asked me if I'm happy. I'm very, very, very happy. Thanks to him. <laughs> It's wrong because sometimes I feel like I depend my happiness on someone when it shouldn't be like that. But compared to like before I met him, life sucked ass and I literally had no motivation for nothing. But ever since I met him, like everything changed. He motivated me to do a lot. I'll put some screenshots of the things he used to tell me. And then... I got this question a lot if I'm giving birth in Mexico. Nope. I will be giving birth out here in Oregon. And, and we're having twins because in a couple of videos or like on our live, I believe it was. Uh, I had said that we have chance of having twins. Because everyone was telling us, oh, you guys are having twins. Because they were so sure for sure they were so sure that we were gonna have twins i don't know why but it's not like that it's not like that it's just one how long have me and him been together for um we started talking in march from last year so it's been almost it's gonna be almost a year how soon do I plan on taking the baby to meet his dad? As soon as the doctor says it's okay, then I will do that. And if I see myself living in Mexico. Honestly, I will not know. That's complicated. Probably if I know more like where everything is and stuff like that. And probably, yeah, but like I know all, everything out here, so that's why. Like getting to know everything, new places. I don't know. I'm so awkward. But then it says, I don't know. <laughs> Someone asked what made me fall in love with him. As I said, his words, his sweet words. Me being a stupid dumb bitch fell in love with words before anything else. People keep asking if the baby has a name. No. And we don't have any ideas yet. Well, we did. Like, he told me some ideas he had. I did not like any. I told him some of the ideas I had. He did not like any. Because he says he's not going to be able to pronounce the names and stuff like that. So, the answer is no. We don't have any ideas. And we don't have names yet. It's complicated. And it's hard to for both of us to like one name. I am 10 weeks and 3 days. How's the baby? Really good. Very healthy. And then our age. I'm 17. He's 16. I'm a year older. And 6 months. But yeah. <laughs> Someone asked how tall am I and how tall is he? I am very short. I'm 4'11". He's... He's short too. He's five three, five four, something like that. Someone asked, "How did I feel when I was falling in love with him?" I don't know. I couldn't believe it. It was like hard. I was so confused. I was like, "This is not right." Cause I was like, I didn't believe when people said you feel butterflies in your stomach when you fall in love with someone. 
and it was like the first time I felt so much butterflies. I was so happy when I got a notification from him. I saw his name pop up and I was so happy. I was like crazy and I would just want to answer right away. And when he, the first time he asked if he could call, oh my God, I almost cried <laughs> of happiness because yeah, I, could, I couldn't believe that I was about to hear his voice. And then when he sent a picture of himself for the first time, I, it was the first time he sent a picture of himself. I don't know how I felt, but I was so happy. Every morning, like waking up to long, long ass paragraphs of him motivating you to do stuff. Like it put a smile on my face every single morning. And I would literally just wake up so early to see those long text messages. And then, when was it? Like everything about him just made me fall in love with him. And then, I don't know, it's just everything made me fall in love with him. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a feeling that I did not believe at first. Like, it was hard. It was so hard to believe that I was falling in love with a cousin. And especially for his fucking words. Like, no one, no guy has ever been that sweet to me, ever. But, yeah. Someone asked, when is my birthday? Um, it's on February 6th. And his is in August. I don't want to say the date because that's my due date. So yeah, <laughs> I got asked if I have any future plans. I do have a lot of future plans, but sometimes I rather not talk about it because I feel like when you talk about it, nothing happens. And if you keep everything to yourself, things might happen. I mean, he knows everything and I know some things of him, but we try not to like say much to each other because sometimes we feel like we're going to be in different places and we don't want that right now. But yeah. But the truth was he was not in love with her. He did used to like her in the past, like before me and him met. It was all planned out by my mom because I saw messages of him and my mom. And my mom told him to say all that stuff to me. I was I don't know, I couldn't believe that my own mother would do that, but at the same time like she probably did it because she does she can't tell me the things straight to face that she does not like me being with my cousin which bothered me so much because i'd rather have her tell me and i tell him to go be saying all this lie and her me and stuff like that and for those that know who that girl is me and her get along very well now <laughs> and then it took me a while to be able to talk to him again i'm pretty sure we let like a month pass and I was, like, already ready to, like, let him go because I didn't think nothing was going to be able to, like, get better. I didn't think we could work stuff out. What the fuck am I about to cry? And I literally told him that it was best if I blocked him because I, it was hurting me thinking that. And then he ended up telling me that's how he felt. That's why he was not reaching out to me. That's why I was not reaching out to him. And he just started telling me that he's going to do anything possible to be with me. And I told him, there's nothing for you to change. Like, I saw the proof of my mom already. Like, I saw her phone. I saw everything already. And I'm like, I just can't believe you actually went on with it when we had agreed that we were not going to let, like, no family members get in the way. Like, if anything happened, we were going to talk about it. But, but I feel like we're better than ever now. And I'm glad. And I'm very happy about that. And our family members really just don't give a fuck anymore about anything. They saw that after everything that happens, we're just going to ignore it and continue on with our relationship. And we're just not going to give a fuck about anyone's opinion. Like, if we're happy with both... If I'm happy and if he's happy with both of our relationship, that's all that matters. Like, if our happiness is still there, our love is still there... That's all that matters to us. And with the pregnancy, I thought they were gonna like 
say shit to us like i don't know i expect there's so much negative shit but they ended up like all being so excited and happy and stuff like that which was weird but <laughs> good thing and then about the baby's gender i'm not sure if i answered this question already because i got this question asked so much but no i don't know yet excuse me and someone asked if i'm gonna do a gender reveal out <laughs> sorry about this someone asked if i'm gonna do a gender reveal i don't know honestly i mean if people want to see that then why not do it but i think that's all the questions i got because that's all i wrote down if there's any other questions that you guys don't have after this video you can just leave them in the comments on tiktok and i'll answer them on there but yeah thank you so much for watching and wasting your time on this bullshit okay not bullshit but like this mess that i created thank you